I will select the medium wind animation preset. So I can just click here and as you can see, now we have a tree being animated on our scene instantaneously with a click of a button where we can change the Antum by moving the slider like so. We can add winter aspect to the leaves by moving this slider and the great thing is you can do something like that, make a dry tree. In this video, I'm gonna show you an add-on that I really, really like. This add-on is called Vegetation. And with this add-on, you can add easily add the trees in your scene, trees and vegetation in general. But this add-on don't have only a great library of models, don't. This add-on also comes with a lot of interesting features that will make your life adding trees and vegetation in your scene very, very easy. So, without further ado, let me show the vegetation add-on. So, to start with this video, let me start by showing you the library. So, the library is very, very robust. There is a lot of interesting 3D models of trees here. And all of those models are in extremely high quality and high fidelity. So, there are some trees that I don't like it. There are some assets that I really, really love it. But in general, all the quality of the models are just stunning, are amazing. So I really, really like this add-on because of the quality of the models. My favorite models in this add-on was the tropical trees. The tropical trees for me was the best. The quality of the leaves, the quality of the materials was so, so stunning in my opinion that I... I really like it. I really liked it. Take a look in this corner here of the leaves. Look how the translucence of the trees are working well. This is the reason why I really, really like it, those, those trees because it's just amazing. Just amazing. The materials of the trunk, of the leaves. I really, really like it, this library. So this is the first thing I would like to, sh to show you in this video. But the second thing I would like to show you is this add-on comes with a lot of interesting, uh, interesting things that will help you in work with architectural visualization inside of Blender. So, what those things are? Those things are, when you add a tree, the tree will be added in the center or the 3D curve. So let's keep it in the center for now. There's a, a really nice 3D model of a tree. But I would like to add more trees in my scene. So I will move this to this direction and I will add the same tree again and take a look at that. This tree is not exactly the same of this tree. This tree is different. So if we try to align those trees, as you can see, they are basically variations of the same tree. So let me add another tree. Oh, what? But the tree is higher, but the leaves are in the correct proportion. What? What's going on? So, this is a feature that I really, really love it in this add-on. Is the fact that when you add the same tree over and over again, the tree will come with variations. So, you can basically make an entire forest using only one tree. This is a thing that I really, really love it in this add-on. But, imagine that you are working with your trees and I'm now just duplicating it. So, when I duplicate like that, the trees are basically the same. So it's just an instance of those trees. And I would like to add more variation here. So I can just click here in the randomize button and everything will look different again. And if I don't like this, this tree right here, I can randomize it again and again and again until I find I found a variation that I really, really like it to put on my scene. So this is a really good feature and I think the best part is this variation don't mess up with the scale of the leaves is a thing that's really really important when we are working with vegetation. If the scale of the leaves get wrong, the scene will look just off. The scale of the leaves are preserved and the thing will look amazing in any direction you look, okay? So, let's continue by looking more features on this add-on. What more this add-on allow me to do? So, 
Here I added a new tree and nothing too special, too special. It's the same tree that I've been adding over and over again in this tutorial. But I can change the way this tree will look by clicking in the four different seasons of the year. So I can add an Anton variation, Anton variation, sorry. The Anton variation will bring me a more yellowish leaves with this aspect here. Ah, sorry, and just to let you know, this add-on also works with Eevee, okay? And the quality in Eevee is as good as the quality on Cyclos. So you need to set up the lightning, but nothing too hard to do. And now we're gonna go to the shader editor. And here in the shader editor, we can select the leaf material and we don't need to mess up with anything else besides this node group here, where we can change the Antum by moving the slider like so. We can, we can add winter aspect to the leaves by moving this slider. And the great thing is you can do something like that, make a dry tree, like something the beginning of the winter. As you can see, you can get this aspect on your tree and it looks it's looking really, really great. You can also add the spring feeling to your trees, which will make the leaves a bit more greenish as you can see it will be a little greenish not too different from the default but will bring more life if you want to do something like that and you can mess up with a lot a lot of stuff like the translucency of the tree those leaves the translucent saturation which will make the leaves a bit more green the diffuse saturation which can make your tree look dry like that or you can do something like that make everything oversaturated and really really alive uh, looks more alive you know so in a way you can do something like that you can reduce the diffuse to the minimum increase the winter and do something like that to make to give the effect that that is the leaves are white like there is some kind of layer of snow on top of the of the leaves so you can Re go really really deep just using this node group here to adjust your trees okay and let's go back and see the best 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 feature that i found in this add-on and this feature is the animation so you can also animation make animations with your trees without much trouble because you can just select your tree make sure that the tree is selected come to your first first keyframe here and you can just select the preset of animation here. For example, I will select the medium wind animation preset. So I can just click here. And as you can see, now we have a tree being animated on our scene instantaneously with a click of a button. The animation is happening on the leaves and on the tree. So the thing will look is looking really, really interesting. If you think that the animation happening on the trunk on the trunk is a little bit weird because the trunk is too thick so we can remove the animation from the truck and keep the animation only on the leaves making your scene look a bit better so this is the add-on that i would like to show you today the link to the add-on is here in the description below and i totally recommend that because in the first in the first time i saw this add-on i I think I underestimated it because I thought that this was just a simple library like other libraries you will find on the internet but no this add-on is amazing and I'm fall <laughs> I fallen in love with that and I totally will use in my next scenes in my job okay thanks for watching don't don't forget to subscribe click in the link in the description to know more about the add-on and the conditions to buy this this too and I'll see you in our next video bye